Well, here in Southern Illinois, there's a lot of history about the coal industry, but there's one event that led to men being killed and wounded at the hands of others. Brooke Slyer is live this morning with a local historian with more. Brooke. Yeah, good morning, Abby. You know, this morning we are talking about the Heron Massacre, which took place 99 years ago this week. And right now I'm actually at uh, the Marion Pavilion in the parking lot. And that's because the mine, the coal mine where this took place, was actually just in the trees behind us. And joining me again this morning is Scott. He's a local historian. So we want to get to, you know, what actually happened that day during the massacre. Well, you and I, Brooke, are enjoying a beautiful sunrise, but 99 years ago, 300 yards behind us for 52 men that had been surrounded all night and shot at and had dynamite sticks thrown at them. Their sunrise, not so much. And for half of them, before the day was over, the last sunrise they'd ever see. I'm done. And you're done. No. So, okay, we're talking about the massacre. They had a shootout, really, I mean, taking place just, you know, 300 yards here behind us. So, I mean, what happened after that? There's a little bit, we had the coal workers going against the strikers. Well, what what really happened was they were supposed to, they surrendered on good terms at daylight, about literally now. The men in the mine, the non-union workers, or in those days scabs, were told, come out, surrender, we'll march you to the train station and we'll send you back home to Pennsylvania, New York, Chicago. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. Once they got down here a half mile down the road, the crowd they had surrendered to turned them over to a crowd not so friendly. And for the next four or five hours, it was butchery. They shot people, stabbed people, hung people from trees, and drug them behind automobiles. It was literally a hell on earth for 52 men working in a non-union coal mine. And those people, a lot of them, you know, I was reading, you know, did come down from Chicago as well. And we're going to be talking about what happened to those people who passed away that day because the aftermath of the Heron Massacre is just as interesting as, you know, what happened that day 99 years ago. So that's coming up later on the show. But for now, back to you in the studio. Well, in national news.